Is it better to put spray foam insulation on your attic rafters or your attic floor? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Foam University. Today we're gonna to talk about if it's better to put spray foam insulation on your attic rafters or your attic floor. So let's talk about the two and bring up some points for both. Before we get too much into that, be sure to go below and like this video. It helps us a lot. So, attic floor or attic rafters, which one's best? Well, it kinda of depends on your situation, but let's talk about the attic floor first. The first big pro to insulating the attic floor over the rafters is that if you measure out the square footage, you're gonna have less square footage almost every time when you're looking at the, the attic floor. Now, why is that important? Well, most of the time your cost is directly related to how much square footage is being spray foamed. So obviously the attic floor most of the time is going to cost less. The other thing to keep in mind is attic floor, if you insulate the attic floor, you're going to need ventilation. Now, is that a pro, is that a con? Sometimes that's up for debate. But keep in mind, you will need ventilation, usually in the form of soft vents, baffles, and a ridge vent up top. So you will need attic vents if you insulate the attic floor. So let's move over and let's talk about attic rafters real quick, if you insulate the attic rafters. Also referred to as the roof deck. Maybe also you've heard of a hot roof system. There's a lot of different names for this system. Just think if you look up and you're spraying to the underside of where the shingles are on the outside. First of all, if you do that, you keep the air and moisture outside of the attic space. Now, obviously that's a pro because now you don't have to worry about any moisture problems or air infiltration coming into the attic space that can then cause problems to the living space. Another thing is you do not need vents when you insulate to the attic rafters. Now, again, is that a pro or con? Hey, you can go either way. If you ask three contractors, you'll probably get four answers. Generally, our rule of thumb is to seal everything up as tight as possible and rely on your mechanical ventilation to give your house the air exchanges that it needs. So when you insulate the attic rafters, again, no vents at all. And when I refer to vents, I'm meeting standard attic vents, your free air vents, like we just said a minute ago, soffit vents with baffles, ridge vent. You might also see gable vents also. Next thing we wanna talk about is if you insulate the attic rafters, now your floor is open. Now, you may not have an actual floor on your attic floor. Maybe it's just open trusses that are looking you know, above the drywall. However, that opportunity is there for you to lay a floor down and use that space for storage or potentially a living space if it's a large attic. Now, the last point I wanna bring up is if there are appliances in the attic. Now, if there are appliances in the attic, such as an HVAC system or even just central air, which is common in Southern climates, you almost always want to insulate the, the attic rafters in this situation because you want those appliances inside the building envelope. So again, it, it helps them uh, run much more efficiently so you're not getting influenced by the outside climate. So keep that in mind, if you have appliances in your attic, it's a pretty safe bet you want to insulate the rafters so that those appliances are inside the envelope. Now, like we mentioned at the beginning, uh, if you do the attic floor, cost is going to be less. And usually that's what the big decision comes down to. If you have a really steep attic uh, roof deck, if your roof deck is really sleep, uh, steep, that could be a big determining factor, right? If your cost is you know, 20, 30% more to insulate the rafters, you know, that could be enough to sway you one way. At the end of the day, both systems work. You just have to realize they are different systems. The big thing is gonna be ventilation. Like we said, if you do the floor, you're going to need free air vents and you need to make sure those are maintained. You need to make sure they don't get blocked. So that's just a different way to do it. They both work fine, we do them both. Both can be used with spray foam, so there's no need to worry about that. Now, that is one thing to keep in mind if you want to do the roof deck, using something like fiberglass or cellulose is a little bit limited. Cellulose on a roof deck is really difficult to do. You would need to get some type of glued in cellulose, whereas obviously fiberglass can be stapled up similar to like when you would do a wall. So I know this uh, topic goes into much more detail than this. If you have a comment, please leave it below. Tell us about your situation. Are you building a house? Or are you maybe thinking about reinsulating your attic? Not sure which way to go. We'd love to help you out. Leave us a comment. Tell us about it. We'd love to talk to you. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to this channel, like our video. Don't forget to ring that bell so you see all our videos. If you guys want to see more of this, you have to hit that bell button. Otherwise, who knows when we're putting out a new video. You won't.
See what I did there? 